Good rising. I recorded a video yesterday when I was in the fields. <laughs> um, yesterday was a really interesting day because I was reading about the projected winner, um, Mr. Mr. Touching on Kids <laughs> and Miss Prosecutor. Um, and they won the ruse, <laughs> which is the U.S. presidency. Um, I am not celebrating, okay? Yesterday I was really dejected and like really sad about it and feeling just like kind of like hopeless in a way. Like to me, I'm just like, I'm very confused as to why people don't see these structures for what they are. Do we know who was our first president? Right? George Washington. What was George Washington? What made George Washington qualified to be president? Do we know? Was it his just and his compassion and his his uh his like you know all encompassing politics for people and how much he held space for everybody no he was a fucking general okay he was a general as many of our political leaders are as i was doing a little bit of research about the alamo um which is during like the texas revolution or rebellion and that was like in the 1836s it ended starting like 1835 um I read about Debbie Crockett, who was like a, a general, like, you know, he was, everybody loved his virility and his, how much he killed Mexicans, right? And he was also a congressman, I found out. So there's this conflation throughout history of our, our political leaders also being war criminals, right? Or like warlords, because the U.S. is a big-ass warlord. Because what is president actually? Do we recall anybody? Commander-in-chief. So this is commander-in-chief of an army. So we are his army, right? Whoever sits at the top of this army is the general, the commander-in-chief of the U.S. imperialistic army. And what are we doing? Waging war against our citizens, like the police beating up people, period. The fact that people are afraid of the police... Also, going overseas and doing all kinds of fuck shit, right? And let me speak about this thing about the police for a second. Like, we have all been taught by our parents often that fear means respect, right? And I think what people don't tend to notice is that as above, so below, right? When we have a huge thing happening in the, micro, in the macrocosm, so like in the world at large, when we get into small spaces, we see that replicated, right? So in the family, we see the structure of our government being replicated, right? There's authority figures, there's punishment, and the people at, char at the top know exactly what to do, and they will punish the fuck out of you, okay? As well as school, same things. Prison looks the same, right? And there's a reason for that, right? There's a reason why parents, because parents are our first indoctrination, no? They're the ones who are gonna teach us how to move through the world based on how they move through the world and based on what they experience and what they learn to be true. And a lot of the time, people have not broken out of this understanding that government is ass. And like, I don't know what else y'all need to understand that government is ass, besides the fact that these are supposed to be people who are supposed to be making our lives better. And our lives are not better. And I really feel like it's so strange that people put so much hope and onus onto a person who lives somewhere you probably, some people have never been before. And I know damn well those people have never been to where you live. If you're from the hood, I know that Biden has not set foot in there. Yet, we entrust these people to make decisions for us. And what really has me appalled is like, I did not celebrate at all yesterday because a pedophile, I saw him touching the kids in my face. I watched the videos of him smelling children. That's fucking crazy and disgusting. And yet, we supposed to celebrate? Like, yeah. Yes, Chester Trump was ridiculous, right? He was racist. He was misogynistic. He was like a fool. And also, that doesn't make these people any better. To be today, nobody, no, no side switched hands. Kamala, that's a, that's a fucking figurehead puppet if I've ever seen one. You got a black woman to be like, yes, we got black women up in here, hey. But also, 
This person is a prosecutor who has sent countless black people and people to jail. Kept black men in jail longer so that they could be laborers. And sent trans women to male prisons. So who the fuck does she care about? The law is who she cares about, right? And I feel like I'm just so blown by people who follow the law. And like, we need to follow laws. Who made these laws to begin with? And what was the law to do? If we talk about police, police started as slave patrols. So it's important for us to analyze the root of things and where they come from so that we can understand how we're here. So you don't lose the threads. That's the point. They want you to forget. They want you to forget that Democrats used to be slaveholders and Republicans were ab abolitionists and they switched hands. They want you to forget that slavery was a very long time that what this country was built on for its economy. It was built on using people's bodies for labor. That didn't change just because somebody said we can't have slaves no more. Because then we also wrote, the same time they ended slavery for black people, for African Americans, they also wrote into the Constitution that everybody free, but not if you're a slave though. I mean, not if you're a felon though. So criminals are slaves. So we still, because we never learn how to actually work for ourselves and work within our means, we still need other bodies to produce things for us. So we use slave labor in prisons. And we justify it because, oh, those people are monsters. Of course, yeah, they need something to do because you can't let them out here. And it's always this crazy justification. Something that I've learned about narcissism is that it's all about the justification. You do horrible shit and then you justify it. You do horrible things and then you justify it. You say horrible things and then you justify it. And race to me is the largest, the greatest act of narcissism ever committed by under the name of white supremacy. Because Racial difference exists in that I look different than a person who is of white skin <laughs> and of somebody who is of darker skin. And those things are just genetics, phenotypic difference. That's how it exists in the world. Yet, there's no, so, there's no inherent meaning to that, but we have, we have created social meanings to that. And who created social meanings to that? This government created social meanings for that. Christianity created social meanings for that. Right? All these things need to be addressed so that we can understand when you take part in these activities, in these thoughts, in these paradigms, in these mindsets, in this political party, in this government, understand what you're taking a part of. You can't pick and choose because that's the legacy of it. So that's what's on my spirit.